Greetings to you, dear parents and children, and a warm welcome to you to this orientation program for the new academic year 22-23. After two years of lockdown and our children being away from school, we are grateful to God that our school has reopened and all our children are back and we have seen the end of online classes. We spend a moment in prayer, remembering those who have passed away during this pandemic period. We remember each of the families who have lost their loved ones and even those who have gone through certain personal losses during the pandemic period. We owe a huge amount of gratitude to all those who have worked very, very hard and put their lives at risk to be of assistance to those who required the help during these years. We pray that God may bless them and encourage them and support them through life. And as we start this year, which is a special year for all of us, we pray that God may bless us with good health, with happiness, and with success in all that we set our hearts, our minds, and our hands to. And so, with our return to school, it's the end of online classes, and we are back to physical attendance in our classrooms, in our beautiful school building. We would urge each of you students to make sure that you return to school regularly. Try not to remain absent. You would be encouraged further to formulate a timetable for yourselves so that there is no waste in time, so that you are able to get up fresh in the morning, get ready and report to school on time. It is very important that we focus on our health and our wellness. Spend time at exercise, eat healthy food, spend time in prayer and meditation, have adequate rest. If there is need for any form of counseling, please let your class teacher know or report to the school counsellor to be able to seek help. It is very necessary that your issues are dealt with. Over the two years, there may have been a drop in the seriousness of your levels of study. And as a result, your learning may have suffered. So to cover up these learning gaps, we will have to work very, very hard. Your teachers will be leading you through special programs to cover up what has been forgotten or what has been lost. Please make sure you take these classes very, very seriously. Do not stay aloof. Do not stay disconnected with all that's happening in school. Be involved. Participate. There will be so many activities conducted in school it is necessary for you to be involved and to participate. The lockdown period had kept us at home and we were not able to interact with other children of our age. We are back now. Make up for what you have lost in the past. And lastly, our dependence on our gadgets like our mobile phones, our tablets and laptops that dependence has to reduce. We need to get more out of the house, interacting with friends, playing games and spending less time on mobile phones, on social media, in front of our TV screens. Code of Conduct Code of Conduct defines the culture of our institution. It sets standards and expectations of behavior. They say motivation gets you going, but discipline keeps you growing. 
Discipline is that bridge between goals and accomplishments. So if you need to succeed, then you must have that discipline. In our school, we emphasize a lot on quality discipline. Punctuality. At St. Stephen's, we start everything on time and end everything on time. Please be careful about this IST. Sometimes the Indian standard time becomes Indian stretchable time. We will not tolerate that. Turnout. Turnout is so important. You need to dress smartly. We have uniforms, summer uniform, winter uniform, and PT uniform, shoes, haircut. All these are important part of your turnout. Attitude of respect. We here at St. Stephen's, we encourage and we must respect all human beings, all living creatures and our utmost respect for the environment. Posture. Posture is so important. The way you stand, the way you sit, your body language is extremely important. Regularity in submissions. Submissions of homework, classwork, assignments. You should be able to do it promptly and submit all your assignments with great regularity. Speaking in English, <clears throat> we have nothing against Hindi or Punjabi, but in St. Stephen's School, the medium of instruction is English. Therefore, we urge you to speak in English. That is a way of learning the language. If you communicate in English, obviously your English is going to improve. Healthy competition. If there is healthy competition, it promotes and fosters striving for higher achievements. And also it creates an environment where everyone hopes that everyone does well. We all succeed. And we are not against the success of the others. Lastly, I want to talk about cleanliness. Cleanliness, as they say, is next to godliness. We must keep our environment clean, our surroundings clean, our classrooms, our school, labs, surroundings absolutely clean. Expectations from parents. We at St. Stephen's School try to bring out the best in your child and prepare them to be global citizens. For that, we need your cooperation, parents. Parents play an important role in encouraging and motivating their kids to learn. Good parental support helps a child to be positive, healthy and a lifelong learner. Parents are role models. Children behave, react, and often imitate their parents. Children acquire skills at the very early stage of their life if the parents are involved parents, responsive, caring, and understanding. It will definitely foster a culture of learning in the family. Schooling may be limited, but education and learning is a lifelong journey. So parents, your role is vital. Please follow up on your child's progress. Be involved. Use the school diary and the school app. Attend PTMs, school events. Show interest in your child's progress. Follow the school calendar. Plan your holidays and family functions accordingly. In case you have to take leave, ensure that leave applications are submitted in time. And in the diary, there's an important section called Important Instructions to Parents. 
प्लीज रीड दैट पार्ट थरली एंड एक्नोलेज इट बाय साइनिंग इट वेलकम स्टूडेंट्स टू योर सीनियर इयर्स दिस इज योर ऑपरचुनिटी टू प्रिपेयर फॉर द नेक्स्ट फेज ऑफ योर लाइफ एंड जंप इन टू द लर्निंग जर्नी यूर अबाउट टू एम्बार्क अपॉन there will be a lot of expectations from each of you from your parents and teachers students are expected to adhere to the syllabus and bring books notebooks neatly covered according to the timetable given in senior school all the students are awarded grades as well as marks there are 20 marks for the unit test and assignments or project work the average of the two will be taken 10 marks for regularity submission of work neatness behavior and response of the students in class the semester examination is for 50 marks in case a student misses any unit test due to illness or a bereavement in the family an application and medical certificate must be submitted In this case an average will be given according to the marks obtained in the semester examination no marks will be given if the child is otherwise absent in the unit test if the student is absent for the semester examination the principal will decide about the promotion of the student to the next class depending upon the circumstance of absence We encourage our students to be present in school every day. There is also an award given for 100% attendance. In case of absence, please ensure that an application is sent. According to the performance of the students, the school has created a club for academic brilliance. Students scoring 90% and above in 5, 4 or 3 subjects are considered under the platinum gold and silver club a special certificate of commendation is also given to a student who shows a remarkable improvement in academics over the year we sincerely hope that your ward enjoys a fruitful year at st stephens the icsc board has prepared a syllabus for the students of class 6 in a manner that helps them to understand the basic concepts of the important topics in every subject the syllabus helps maintain a healthy approach that educates young children to develop qualities and skills in an appropriate way the choice of six subject for class 6 are as follows art computer science environmental application hindustani music and home science physical education is given as a choice only for students of class 8 the first of the six subject is art the aim of arts as a subject is to encourage creative expression in and through art this subject helps to develop powers of aesthetic appreciation and artistic attitude and values the students learn about the different types of shading pencils and how to shade articles It is through art that students are taught to appreciate nature and its beauty. They learn how to draw the images of birds using pencils or pastels. The subject encourages children to be able to create still life images and landscapes using the pencil and oil pastels. Thus, this new beginning to arts will help the students choose a career in graphic or interior designing. or maybe animation they could become great artists too the second six subject is computer science educating students in computer science is beneficial for all with the digital age rising there is a need to develop logical thinking the students who have been exposed to online learning will be able to use their computer in a better way as this subject will teach them about the various computer languages they will learn file management writing reports making presentations with visual effects e-commerce blogging this subject empowers students by enabling them to build their own applications 
broaden horizons, foster creativity, improve the quality of work and increase efficiency. Every 21st century student should have adequate knowledge of computer science as the job perspective for computer science is growing at a rapid rate. Environmental education welcomes the students to explore nature and acquire knowledge of the origin and functioning of the natural system and its correlation with the living world. This subject helps develop sensitivity in personal attitude to environmental issues and a keen civic sense. The fourth of the sixth subject is music, which is one of the most powerful forces the world has to offer. Music in itself is healing. It's an explosive expression of humanity. No matter what race, culture or colour, it's something we are all touched by. This subject provides the students with an appropriate body of knowledge with understanding to various changes in sound. The field of music is a huge part of the entertainment industry. The last of the six subjects given as an option to class six is home science. The misconception that this subject is only for girls is just not right. In fact, our boys enjoy learning to look after their home and family too. A study of home science helps in the ultimate understanding of self, home and family. The scope of the subject surpasses beyond the area of cooking, home decoration and needlework. The subject includes hygiene, community living, nutrition, etc. In simpler words, this is the art of efficiently organizing the available resources so as to achieve a happier and healthier home. Physical education is a sixth subject which is given as a choice only to students in class 8. Students opting for physical education must attend morning sports activities and qualify for a physical efficiency test. Physical education is a process of learning which modifies our behavior through bodily based actions. It helps in our physical, psychological, social and emotional development. Thus, it is important for the students to make the right choice of the sixth subject so that it may be beneficial for the future. We at St. Stephen's feel strongly about having our students engage in activities coherent with their mental age and vigor. Our institution gives importance to the all-round development of a child's personality. Hence, we encourage students and their parents show year-round active participation in co-curricular activities. All children are supposed to represent any of the four houses that makes up St. Stephen's, Jupiter, Mars, Saturn and Neptune. Students once allotted a house at the time of admission can represent their house in inter-house competitions and other activities. The children are offered to choose one activity out of the listed 18 activities. They will submit three activities to their class teacher in order of their preference. Allotment of activities, however, is based on the choice and availability in the respective activity. Besides the activities, we also give importance to engagement in sports. We have football, cricket, basketball, badminton and chess available as morning games. There are other activities like Olympiad in different subjects. Further information about competitions and activities will be sent to the parents as and when the time arrives. This year, St. Stephen's completes 
40 years of its history in education. We are proud to celebrate this milestone celebrating with our alumni, our students and our teachers that make up Stephen's family. This year is a valiant attempt at activities and shows that school plans to put together. Out of these, one of the upcoming events is recognizing 40 students who have shown outstanding performance in their fields. The first half of the year is filled with inter-house and inter-school competitions and the latter half of the year has mega events like annual day, sports day and carnival. We sincerely request all parents to show encouragement and support to their children for maximum participation and experience throughout the year. We hope that you are able to enjoy the glorious existence of this school as much as we would. Thank you. Starting from April 2022, we will be using My Campus Live app for academic activities and fee payments. What are the benefits for parents? The parents will be able to communicate with the teachers. They will receive updates on the children's attendance, fee payments and academic reports. They will also get regular information about holidays and events. Now let us talk about the benefits for students. They will receive information about homework, timetables, marks scored, examinations and test schedules. They will also receive information on the holidays and schools upcoming events in advance. This slide shows what can be accessed on a browser, attendance, assessments, homework, teacher's notes, to name a few. The app is available on a variety of platforms, on a laptop or PC, on Android and Apple phones. This is how the opening screen looks like in a browser on a PC. This is the opening screen on a phone. A comprehensive tutorial will be sent to the parents and students in a few days. Till the time the Campus Live app gets active, the parents and students are requested to keep checking the school's website for important notifications. Transport The school bus service, which is operated by private contractors, has started plying again after a break of two years. I hope you have made your bookings with these private bus contractors. Parents and children are expected to adhere to the bus timing strictly. Please ensure that there is a responsible person to receive your child at the drop-off point in the afternoon. In the school diary, there is a section on code of conduct for bus users. It should be followed strictly. The school does not have any official tie-up with any vans or auto rickshaws. As per government rules, a maximum number of four children are allowed in the auto rickshaws. With that, we come to the end of our orientation. Thank you for watching. Thank you for your time. Thank you for your patience. Our best wishes to you, our students and our parents for a successful, fulfilling and rewarding year ahead. Semper Sursum.